Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at an unban command. Now, this basically is the complete opposite to what a ban command is. It just unbans a user from the guild. Now, let's get straight into it. So, obviously, we want to check if the message.member. has permission. We want to check that first, and why do we want to check that? For obvious reasons, we want to be able to check if the user has ban want to check ban underscore members permissions or we want to check if they have admin or why do we want to do that because the ban members thing basically allows like with that permission part allows a user to ban someone and unban someone so let's have a look if that doesn't return um sorry if that returns null or basically saying they don't have permission we're just going to say um, you don't have permission to perform this command and that's basically that part. Now the next part we want to check is we want to actually grab a user. Now we're going to be using something a little bit different. We want to use band member. We want to define it as band member and then we want to await. And what are we awaiting? We are awaiting a fetch. So we're going to use bot. For the first time that we've I've, i actually think i've never used bot inside a command like we pass it through the command caller but i've never actually used it before and what we're going to do is we're going to fetch user and then args uh arg zero and basically what we're doing is we're awaiting a promise and uh, if you don't have a wait here it will error because we are waiting for the bot to be able to get the band member now we're going to check if band member equals null so the person hasn't provided a user we can return message dot channel dot send please provide a user id to unban someone there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to let reason equal and obviously reason is the same thing as we always do we're going to let it slice one, slicing off the user, and we're also going to join it with a space in between. Now, obviously, if there is no reason, we're going to let reason equal um, no reason given. Right. Now that we've got all that sorted, what we want to do is we want to check if the bot itself actually has permission. So we want to do message.guild.me.has permission. And we actually want to check for these exact same permissions here so that the bot can perform this. And then we want to return message.channel.send if you don't, oh, sorry, hold up. <laughs> if they don't have this permission, we're going to respond, I don't have permission to perform this command. Right, now that we've got all that sorted, we can actually just message.delete and we're actually just going to quickly delete the call cool message for this and then we're going to use a try catch in which we have not used before and if you don't know how to use one of these bad boys, please do go google it. I don't think there's ever going to be a javascript tutorial out on the channel that will display how to use it and what we're going to do here is we're going to do message.guild.unban and then we're going to do uh, we're going to call the band member and then we're also going to input a reason here now reason is an option that we can use for um it's a reason sorry it is a thing that we can also use it's also a part of the unban command we've used it in a lot of the other commands like ban and kick you can provide a reason in which we'll, it will log in the audit logs now what we're going to do is message.channel.send and this is where we actually send who has been kicked. Now, if we don't await the bot, uh, if we don't await fetching the user, this will become undefined. And it will also mean that you can't actually unban anyone because the bot has not been able to, um, actually we'll do tag here, do tag. The bot has actually not been able to fetch a user. So we're gonna, has been banned, oh sorry, has been unbanned from the guild exclamation mark and now if this returns null or it breaks or something along those lines we're actually going to console log e and now we can do console log e message and this will just do the top line of the error or we can send that to the channel or something like that um, you can do whatever now that we've done that we actually want to grab this because we want to be able to send the embed to the uh, 
mod logs channel and then what we're going to do is we're going to type unban the user has been unbanned um hmm mod rated on and then we're going to change this to just band member and then that should be all right i reckon we can actually just do this quickly no we can't do that quickly what we're going to do is we're actually just going to put this like that we're going to put these in some of these bad boys do this and then we're going to open up params again and we're actually going to do band member dot id so that the id is displayed and then that is pretty much it this is pretty much the whole command now what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly open up the bot. I'm going to run the console prompt here if I can get to it. Now I'm using Nodemon. Again, if you don't know how to install Nodemon, just Google it. It's It just means that whenever there's a file change, it will just instantly change it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab a user here. Who do we got here? We'll just unban this guy. I'll make sure to ban all these people later then we're going to unban this and then we're going to say testing now it says their tag as well as their username has been unbanned from the guild as well as their id and that and then if we go in here you should be able to see that they are no longer banned which is a good thing anyways guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial this has been connor here from menu docs and if you want to know where any of this code is, it is in the GitHub in the description. The link is just down there as well as our Discord if you need any help with the issues you are getting. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.